I've said this story before, but one of my favorite uh, gambling stories I ever had was I was in the Philippines. Um, it was my first time in the Philippines. And I remember I got off the plane and I'm so excited, you know, I'm in, I'm in the Mecca of, of pool. And uh, so of course I go to one side cafe, it's a second story pool room. And um, of course, you know, they see the American tourists and dollar signs everywhere. They, they know I'm a sucker. But uh, I was 21, 20 years old, I was 20 years old with my dad. And uh, he said, oh, this guy's an amateur, amateur. I'm like, yeah, yeah, I'll play him. I think we end up betting like, you know, 10,000 pesos, like $250. And we play like a race to 11 and it goes hill, hill. And I tell my dad, my dad, this guy can't beat me. Like, There's no way he can beat me. He's like, well, ask him to raise a bet then, you know, bust him. I'm like, yeah, I will. I said, you guys want to bet like a thousand or two US dollars? You know, like, I'm, you know, I saved up all year for this trip. I had like, 8,500 to my name. That was all the money I had saved up working with my dad. And uh, I said, you guys want to bet like a thousand or two? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, we can. So we extended it, races 17 for a thousand. And uh, <laughs> the guy just, you know, plays bad position. He really did play bad position at that time. And he's got me down 16 to three, race to 17 for a thousand. I haven't shot. The guy's just running out, running out, running out. So I get it to 16, 15, and the ball skids on me. I end up losing 17 to 15. It was, I showed a lot of heart. Then I lose, whatever, no big deal. I told my dad, I'm like, Dad, I'm still not convinced. I think I still got the best end of this game. So the next day, like clockwork, Shane Van Boning flies in. And this is when Shane was Shane. He had just won his US Open. He was using that Sean Q, and he wasn't missing a ball. And uh, so he goes out there and he plays this amateur player and he beats Shane like 21 to 4 21 to 5 just absolutely drills him for like 5,000 and I'm like and my dad comes up to me and taps me on the shoulder and he says you still think you're stealing <laughs> I'm like no that amateur was Carlo Beato and he was about 23 years old it was Carlo Beato this whole time and the guy I'm thinking I'm supposed to beat this guy I'm supposed to beat this guy I really wasn't supposed to beat him, <laughs> but in my mind, I thought I was. So, you know, it kind of goes to show you, you know, when you play a big name player, I see it so many times with like the Joshua Fillers and the Shane Van Bonings. I mean, they're obviously the best players in the world. No doubt about that. But I see so many players lose to them when they're supposed to win because they're, they're scared to play them. And I wasn't scared to play this Carlo Beato guy. If you would have told me, you know, based off what he's accomplished in his career, I'm playing this guy, I probably wouldn't have played so fearless and aggressive and fired back at him. So it kind of shows you how powerful the mind is. It's a very interesting story because um, I learned a lot from it. And I was 20 years old and I lost a thousand dollars and I ended up losing all my money over the course of a month. Well, I was there about 25 days, my first time in the Philippines. But I'm forever thankful for that trip. And I'm forever thankful for my father for forcing me to go out there and pushing me to where, getting me out of my comfort level and showing that if I run out, it doesn't matter who your opponent is, whether it's Carlo Beata, whether it's Joshua Filler, or Shane Van Boning, you can win. And you know, one thing's saying it and the other thing is believing in it. And you really have to, that's why I always encourage all these youngsters, play the best players you can compete you can only play to the level of your competition so if you're playing with you know a whole bunch of you know weaker players you're, you're never going to give yourself an opportunity to improve and, and, and you know you never know if you can break through Love it.